Have you ever recorded a multicam podcast either in studio or over Riverside or Zoom and been stuck in this situation? Yeah, so I've been zebra maxing lately. Oh, what is that? Primarily just eating a lot of zebra meat. Is that legal? <laughs> Most definitely not. Yeah, I've been there too, but not anymore. Eddie from Multicam Podcast does it for you. How? Well, let me show you. It seems nowadays everyone and their mom has a podcast. Side note, do not tell my mom that she can create a podcast. So a lot of folks out there are experiencing their first introduction to the absolute misery that is camera switching on a multicam podcast. So we developed Eddie for podcasts. So you may have heard about us. We launched what our users affectionately call the chat GPT of video editing. Then it turned into the Claude for video editing, then the Llama for video editing, now Grok for video editing. You know, whatever the latest LLM analogy is, that's us. Eddie is a prompt-based editor for pros. It's this clean interface with this powerful AI behind the scenes. We built some amazing tech to do automatic multicam switching where the right camera angle is chosen at the right moment. Now the core difference is that with interview-based stories, you are removing most of the interview and keeping key sound bites. But for podcast recordings, you wanna keep the vast majority of the recording and just clean it up a little bit. So we built it. And this isn't the royal we, it's three AI scientists, eight engineers, two designers, and a partridge in a pear tree. Not sure why. And I'm excited to share that with you today. Let me show you how it works. Here I've got a three camera podcast multicam that I want to process. I'm gonna open up a new Eddie project and select podcast. I've got two options to choose from on import, overlapping and non-overlapping. Overlapping audio means that the audio files will share similarities in their waveforms. Typically podcasts that were recorded in the same room will have overlapping audio. If you record your audio to a separate recorder, you can also upload that and choose it as the main audio for the others to be synced to. Non-overlapping audio is audio that does not share similarities. Things like remote interviews, separate recordings, and content where speakers might record completely separately or where audio files are not synchronized. You might find this type of file if you record your podcast using Zoom or Riverside that records a local video that only captures one side of the audio. Since this podcast has overlapping audio, I'll select overlapping. Then I'll click the arrow and drop in my three video files. Wait a few minutes and your podcast cut will appear in a player window for you to preview. You can now export this out to your NLE. I'll choose Premiere first and we'll drag over the icon into your bin. Just like that, you are looking at a fully cut multicam timeline, which picks the right camera angle at the right time. Now here's the best part. All of your angles are laid out over each other in their own tracks with the active camera enabled and the others disabled. So why is this cool? Because it's a non-destructive timeline. If you're looking at a certain moment that looks like it deserves a different angle, simply unlink the clips and then enable the angle that you want. While Eddie will create a near perfect cut for you, you're still in control if you wanna make a creative move in your cut. Eddie also provides transcript markers across your entire timeline so you can find moments in a flash with a marker search. So Final Cut uses the FCP XML, which can retain a multicam sequence, unlike XML. You can see here on the timeline that there is just one video layer, but not to fret, all of the angles are embedded in the cut. To change the angle, just right click and change the active video angle. And also you get these sweet searchable transcript titles. To resolve, you can export either an XML or an FCP XML since it accepts both formats. XML will look more like Premiere with the layers of your video on top of each other, and FCP XML will create a multicam sequence with the transcript titles. So Eddie actually has a script that you can embed in Resolve that can automatically ingest your project the minute you click export, which is pretty damn neat to watch in real time. So you've got your multicam sequence done, exported and uploaded to your platforms. What now? Well, you need some social videos to promote it, of course. Just go back to your project in Eddie and prompt it for some social media videos. Eddie will create whatever you ask for using the multicam it created, which you can export either back to your NLE for further editing or straight to vertical video with or without captions if you're looking to post that content immediately with no stops along the way. And with those MP4 exports, you want a little branding? Well, you're gonna get a little branding. Tap the gear at the side of the MP4 export and you can add intro and outro cards along with a branded logo in the top of your exported video. And if you want to share this Eddie project with any of your collaborators or co-hosts, just click share in the top right and send that link over to whoever needs it. With that link, they can do anything you can do with that project. So if you're looking to save hours in the edit of your podcast, Eddie has all the tools you need to make a professional grade multicam cut and killer social cuts along with it. Eddie for Podcasts is available right now, so sign up and give it a shot with your own footage. I'm Robbie, your content and community manager, and I'll see you in the next one.